Oh, it's here. Hi, this is Aaron with Vanishing Cabinets and I'm doing a bit of a different kind of video with this one. I just got a new CNC machine and I thought I'd make a quick video here just on the setup process and give my thoughts and first impressions with this specific CNC machine, which is the Genmitsu 4040 Reno made by Sainsmark. I've never owned a CNC machine before and I don't have any experience really to speak of. So this video is really just gonna be my perspective as a complete CNC noob and showing the process of setting up and getting started with the one that I picked out. I'm not gonna to linger too long on the build process here, just following instructions and using the tools that came with the machine. So they break up this setup for the CNC into a couple of different phases. They have the mechanical setup, which is putting together this apparatus. And I just finished that part and just moving a couple of parts around, it seems to be really smooth so far. Nothing too crazy in that setup. There was definitely a number of steps to complete and it, it took me about 45 minutes or so. The next phase now is the software setup. So I'm gonna get my laptop and start setting that up. For the software side, they give you a USB thumb drive, which has a few different things on there, mainly the driver needed to install on the computer, the application that actually sends the code to the machine to make the cuts, and then a couple of test files to get started. So I have the cord that came with the CNC machine just going straight into my laptop here. So the CNC comes with a bunch of these little V-carve bits, and it comes with a little collet to put to Hold it. All right. I'm gonna get uh, my workpiece here. So according to this, it's all ready. Let's see what it does. Oh, it's not doing so well. Well, it's just staying in that spot. According to this though, it's doing a really good job. All right, I spent a long time messing with the belt. I haven't tried redoing it yet, but I'm gonna hit the go button. There's a little bit of progress there because it started moving around. All right, I'm gonna try it again. I think I know what happened. Let's try this now. I think this will work. I think this will work. I think this will work. Okay, that didn't work, that didn't work, that didn't work, that didn't work, that didn't work. 100% this is gonna work, I have no doubt. 100%. Look at it go. Oh, it's not working. Oh, Alright, job done, that took two minutes. It looks good, I think. <laughs> looks pretty precise. I'm gonna try a new one just above it with like not as much depth, I guess. That one looks a lot cleaner. So this took about five minutes and I don't know, that looks really cool to me. You can see just how tight and accurate that is. That's really cool. All right, so I was able to get the test cuts done using all the software and everything that came standard with machine. I have one more goal with testing this and that is doing a custom cut using my logo. Just to understand the process of going from a file that I have to actually getting it into the software and getting it coded for the machine to run. Now I'm brand new to the CNC world so I did do some research to try and understand what kind of software you need to run a machine like this. Of course there are a lot of great resources out there on YouTube but it did seem like there are a few different steps that require different softwares. So after doing a little bit of research, I went ahead and downloaded Easel, which is one of the CNC softwares out there. And for now, I just signed up for the free trial just to go and get started. The software is really nice. It gives you a drop down of a bunch of different machines that it's compatible with. And the Genmi 24040 Reno is listed on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one. This is what the Easel software looks like. And what appealed to me about this one is that it had end-to-end -end functionality. So I ended up being able to import my file here and connect the application to the machine. So everything I'm doing is all in the same program for now. So all I did was import the file of my logo and that was an SVG file type. And what I'm doing in the software is just moving and sizing the logo where I want it to be on the board. And the software gets really specific about every aspect of the cut including what kind of wood you're using, 
what kind of bit you're using, the thickness of the material, and so on. I actually wasn't sure if the machine came with bits, so I bought this set of compression bits from Amazon. Once I finished selecting all the material and bits, I entered in all the cutting specifics, so things like feed rate, depth per pass, plunge rate, spindle speed. I mean, I was quickly getting overwhelmed, so I did rely a lot on the defaults of the program. I'm sure the more practice I get, I'll be able to dial in all of these settings, but for now, I just wanted to see how this would go. I added my logo and all the settings and stuff on my main computer. Now I'm just gonna load it on my laptop down here. But this one's kinda nice because I can work on the designs and stuff on my main computer in my office and then just come down here, pull it up on the laptop and then um, and then send it to the machine. All right, I think it's all ready to go. I think it looks really great, just a couple of small things. For, for one, I don't think the compress compression bit is the right type of bit for this text here. For the big VC, I think it looks really good. And, it, and for the most part, I got it pretty close, but yeah, it just um, doesn't get it as precise. But overall, I mean, I think it looks freaking awesome. And the, the cut is really, really clean, like insanely smooth. I can barely, barely see the tracks in there, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. So just some final thoughts on this whole experience. I'm very quickly getting humbled by the learning curve in using a machine like this, not to mention any kind of designing or anything, which I haven't really forayed into. And of course, that's all gonna be part of the process, but so far, my experience with this machine has been really positive. Most of the challenges that I faced haven't really been specifically related to this machine, but more so just the process of learning the software and the ins and outs. I did have some trouble with the belt and getting the tension just right, where it wasn't quite moving on the track that smoothly. My first try, I had it way too loose. My second try, I tightened it as tight as I possibly could. So I had to find that nice middle ground for the belt tension. And once that was set, it was working just fine. The other drawback I noticed is that for the stock spindle on here, I had to run it pretty slow. If I ran the feed rate too high, the bit would just stop spinning and the job would be aborted. And actually, it took me a long time to figure out what was causing the job to stop running. Once I lowered the feed rate and the depth of cut, the job started running smoothly. Personally, I plan on upgrading this spindle to something more powerful. That way I'll be able to do the jobs a lot faster. I'm also going to grab a couple of other accessories. I'm not a huge fan of the little clamps it comes with to hold the workpiece down. And I'll probably end up getting the dust shoe as well, all of which are fairly inexpensive. The upgraded spindle will probably be the most expensive addition I'm going to get on here. My two favorite things about this machine for sure are the size of the cut area. It's really big, so I can get some really big work pieces in here. And the second thing I really like about this is the price, especially relative to the cut area that you get. I've looked at a bunch of machines in my research and this is definitely one of the best price for the cut area that you get. From my experience so far, this seems to be a great tool for beginners just starting out. But I'm very excited to continue to learn more and get better at the software and start putting this to use in some projects. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.